In the previous screencast, we talked about how to clean up some of the auto-generated zig code that is produced by Translate C. In this screencast, we'll talk about uh, some other ways that uh, code can be turned into a more canonical form. Uh, the first thing that we're going to look at is um, the way that Booleans are handled. So um, we'll see right here this assignment to streaming IMU. That's a, a Boolean. Um, if we come over to the C code, uh, we see it just assigning false. Whereas in Zig, it's using this zero is not equal to zero, which is false. Uh, but the reason it has this is that in C, true and false are actually just numeric constants. Uh, they're just zero and one uh, for false and true. Um, whereas in Zig, uh, Boolean expression is its own kind of thing. It, you can't just use zero for false or one for true. Uh, so long story short, this can be turned into false because zero is equal to zero. And one not equal to zero is true. Make that a true. Zero not equal to zero is false. And if we just do a quick check, false, true, false, false, true, false. So that looks good. Uh, let's compile that. Good. Yeah, and there's a couple other situations where that happens, which is right here. We'll leave those for now. Um, and the next thing we'll talk about is the use of slices instead of pointer and length. Um, so if we look at this L prong right here, uh, we'll see that we have an array, a uh, null terminated array. It says turning on LED zero. And then we have a call to this NRF UART TX transmit function, uh, which is actually used by several of these prongs. Um, and we're passing in a very long expression here, which corresponds to the L prong here. It's much shorter in C. We just pass in the pointer to the UART object, the string that we want to send, and the size. So Zig prefers to use slices instead of a pointer and a size. Um, so to look at this line right here, a more canonical Zig function would be something like my nrfx uart tx, and we'll pass the uart zero, and we would just want, we're not doing any formatting or anything, so we'd want to just pass in uh, led on message. Um, and we, since nrf uart, uart tx's return value is not used currently by any of these uh, functions that call it, our my nrf uart tx could have uh, a void return value instead of the int that it currently has. So let's define that function. It should be fairly simple. We'll call it my nrfx uart tx, and it's going to take, so what is the, the current uh, type that it takes? So if we go to the definition of that function, see it's just using p instance here. Um, it's a star c pointer, it's an extern. Uh, so we can actually call it a pointer since we know it's a pointer and that will coerce to a star C when we call the real function. Um, and then second argument is a string or a slice of uh, U8. So in Zig, that would look like, um, we'll call the parameter, let's see what it's called in, in uh, the original definition. Oops. It is called um, p data, so we'll give it the same name just for consistency. Um, p, we'll call it p data, and that is a slice of const u8, and this function will return void. So that's saying that this is a slice or a runtime known uh, pointer plus length. It's rolled up into one type. Okay, and so all this function is going to do is call the existing nrfx uart transmit and essentially forward the arguments. So it's going to pass p instance. Um, now this function wants a pointer and a length and the way we get that is fairly simple. We just do p data dot pointer and p data dot len length. And that's it. So now we should be able to call this my nrfx function uh, with a string instead of uh, this kind of ugly line right here. Let's try it out. Uh, we'll 
we'll replace this one. Um, this looks like a poorly named variable. Let's see. Yeah, so it's actually, it should be LED off message if we want to be consistent here. Um, go to this. We'll call it with LED off message. Um, and then um, these are calling sprint F, so we might need to adjust that a little bit. Um, T is just calling the equivalent of my inner apps. Oops, LED off message. Um, so we'll run into one issue when we try to compile this, which is it's expecting a slice, it found an array. So slices are not quite arrays. Arrays are compiled time known length, but it's fairly easy to turn an array into a slice. We just take its address like this. So we'll adjust these. Let's make it again. Run so compiles, that's good. And let's flash it. Set it and we'll come over here and we're still able to print things that's nice and if we want to really be sure that we're doing something um, let's see uh, LED turning on LED zero we'll make it a oops a very excited uh, turning on LED um, oops oh, so the issue here is that uh, translate C put in the type explicitly, even though that would not actually be necessary. And this is actually stored as an array. So instead of making an array, let's just make it a string, which is like that. And once we do that, we actually won't need to take the address anymore, uh, as you'll see here. So um, in zig, string constants are slices. So we could do something like this. And we will flash it. Okay, and if we press L now, it's a very excited turning on LED zero.